Hello, it's a Tuesday Tuesday and today it's time for a new episode of Discworld Discourses. Today I am going to be reviewing Witches Abroad, the 12th Discworld novel by Terry Pratchett, first published in 1991. Magwit Garlic is left a magic wand by a recently deceased fairy godmother and she needs to take over her duties and look after a young woman called Emberella who lives on the other side of the disc. Magwit travels to her new charge with the unwelcome help of Granny Weatherwax and Nanny Og as they need to stop Emberella from marrying the prince. As you may be able to tell, Witches Abroad is a parody of many fairy tales in a similar way to how Moving Pictures is a parody of many films, and it's really fun to read and find all of the fairy tales referenced that are often mixed up together in interesting ways or turned on their head. It's also wonderful to be back with the Witches of Lanka, and to me they are very much the best thing about this book. Their relationship, the way they see the world, the adventures they end up on over the course of the book, Nanny Og's grasp of languages is unparalleled, and I loved all of the developments to Granny Weatherwax's character. She is such an interesting character and this is a great book for her. Despite all of these great things, Witches Abroad is a book that I never entirely got into. I found the first half of the book, when the witches are travelling, to be a bit episodic and not completely involving. I never particularly got invested in the book and the story at all, so even though there are so many great things in the book and the second half of the book was far more impactful to me, I never really cared that much, and I think also partly due to the nature of the story being about characters being forced to live out stories. A lot of the characters felt quite one-dimensional and like caricatures, which again didn't help to draw me in. Witches Abroad shows so many of the things that are wonderful and unique about Discworld. You know, parody, Terry Pratchett's writing, the humour. The book is a great example of all of those things, but I just didn't enjoy reading it as much as some of the others. I'd put it between Equal Rights and Weird Sisters in terms of ranking the Witches of Lanka books so far. Weird Sisters by far my favourite, and I will give Witches Abroad 3.9 out of 5. There's so much that's great about it, but it's just one of those books that never entirely engrossed me. So, facts about this book. This book references many tales, including Cinderella, The Frog Prince, Little Red Riding Hood, The Wizard of Oz, Sleeping Beauty. It's the third witch's novel after Weird Sisters, and the next is Lords and Ladies, which is only two books away in the Discworld series, and I'd recommend checking out Lords and Ladies if you liked Witches Abroad. It's also another one which involves lots of parody. If you didn't get on as well with this book, then the next book in the Discworld series is Small Gods, so you could try that, or you could maybe go back to the City Watch of Ankh-Morpork with Men at Arms. So those are my thoughts on Witches Abroad, I would love to know what you think about this book, especially since my thoughts are rather confused. The next book that I will be reviewing is Small Gods, and that will be on the 16th of July, and the full list of Discord books and when I'm planning on reviewing them will be linked in the description below. Let's move across to the end screen, if you would like to see my latest video or some more Discord discourses then you can do so below me here, and you can also subscribe to my channel or visit my website if you should wish to beside me here. And if you'd like to check out my Patreon, then the link to that will also be in the description below. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you later on in the week.